If you're a student and you're new to Perplexity, then let me show you a few amazing things that you can do with Perplexity AI that will hopefully help you learn concept better, you can learn more efficiently, and maybe improve your grade in the long run. So these are just some amazing features that you could utilize for learning in Perplexity AI. So uh, the first thing that you can do is obviously you can use Perplexity for research. After all, this AI tool is designed for research. Just go to perplexity.ai and then uh, you can tell AI about the things that you want to learn. You can write a prompt or any instruction that AI must do. And then you can use either the regular search or the deep research method to get answered by uh, from perplexity. So deep research will be much more detailed and uh, it's usually going to give you much more thorough answer. But in my opinion, for just casual learning, the regular search mode is good enough. And also you can select the mode so you can enable the web search and also academic. I do recommend to enable academic because usually it will be able to access content for academic purposes. And then you can send a message. And of course, this is like a chat interface. If there's anything that you want to ask, just write a question to Perplexity and it will give you the answer. It's really, really simple. And I think that's the main purpose of Perplexity for most people, which is to do a research. And in my opinion, the research in Perplexity is much better than chat GPT much faster than Gemini. And overall, I would say the quality of the answer is a lot better than most AI tools. So uh, that's why still uh, the number one option for research. Okay, that was the point number one. The second thing that you can do with Perplexity as a student is you can use it to answer the homework question. So there's a feature in Perplexity, Perplexity that lets you upload a document or upload a picture. So theoretically, you can take a picture of your homework problem and then you can uh, tell AI to answer the problem. But of course, you also want to learn from that. And uh, this is the problem that you could use to break down the answer and AI will help you understand the concept or why it is giving the answer. Now, let me give you a quick example. I'm going to click this and let me just select this problem. Uh, just wait for it. And let's send a message. So it will analyze the picture, it understand picture, it can actually see the picture and it will answer the problem based on whatever it is being asked and also it will tell you why it is giving you that, uh, that answer. So that's another use case of perplexity. Now the next thing that you can do with perplexity as a student is uh, you can discuss anything in the voice mode. So this is actually one of my favorite features in perplexity. So if you go to perplexity.ai on your phone or maybe on your uh, computer, you have access to the voice mode. So let me uh, remove this. There is this icon that you can click and you can talk to perplexity like you're talking to a person. Now, let me do a quick demonstration. Okay, just wait. Hey there, can you help me understand what is quantum computer? Sure. A quantum computer is a type of computer that uses the principles of quantum mechanics to process information. Hey, uh, can you give me, you know, an um, easier way to understand the concept? Just give me, you know, an example. Sure. Think of a regular computer like a really fast calculator. Okay, can you pretend that I'm just five years old? Of course. Imagine you have a toy box. A normal computer is like... Okay, I'm going to stop the conversation right there, but I think you get the point. You can talk to AI, you can interrupt the AI when it is giving you the answer. So it's really natural. It's almost like you have your own teacher that always be there for you. So that's really amazing. I, and I do recommend to use the voice mode to have discussion or brainstorming process with perplexity. Now, uh, the next thing that you can do with perplexity as a student is... Uh, you can listen to a lecture or the answer by perplexity in the TDS mode, also known as text-to-speech. So this is a bit different than the voice mode because in the voice mode, you can go back and forth, but in the text-to-speech, you just need to listen. So let me give you an, an example. I'm going to send uh, this from create a short historical explanation of the industrial revolution. And there is a TBS feature in Perplexity that, uh, unfortunately, this feature is not available in the mobile, uh, sorry, in the desktop web version. 
but in the mobile version there is an option that lets you turn this into audio content so if you scroll to the very bottom of the answer there is going to be a speaker actually not a speaker a headphone icon i believe somewhere in here now it is not here because i'm using the desktop web version but on the mobile app version there is that button you can check it out it is there it is uh, something that you could use to listen or consume the content without looking at the screen so maybe you can uh, do something else you can you know uh lying down on your bed and then you can listen to the answer or lecture from perplexity now it is not in the web desktop version but there is a workaround that i have talked about on my video you can check my channel on how you can enable the uh, voice actually the text-to-speech mode on the desktop version of perplexity you can check it out anyway that's another thing that you can do the next thing that you can do in perplexity is that uh, you can use spaces for a more personalized answer. So this is quite interesting. Uh, let me give you how you can uh, the process on how you can create a, a space in Perplexity. So here on the spaces menu, you can add a new space. Uh, think of it as a custom instruction that you could provide to Perplexity. Let's say uh, pretend that I'm five years old so let's say i want to learn a concept but i want ai to pretend that i'm five years old so hopefully i can understand the concept better so always pretend that and a uh, five years old kid so i can understand difficult com uh, topics and by the way, this is the custom instruction. You can replace it with any instruction that you like. Like you can pretend uh, you are a student uh, in the biology. You want to learn more about biology or physics or math. It's really up to you. It's just a custom instruction that you could provide alongside with your prompt or your question. So let me create a new space. And here in this space, if I want to ask anything like, uh, tell me, how a rocket engine work so it's gonna be pretending that i am just five years old and uh, hopefully i can understand the concept much much better so yeah as you can see you know how when you blow up a balloon and let it go yeah it is definitely the kind of thing that you could use to, to, to teach the concept as someone that is very very young so you can create as many space as you like and each space will have a custom or unique instruction. So that's one thing that you can do. The next thing that you can do is you can use the Perplexity Labs to create flashcards. This is actually something that I covered on my previous video. So this is one example. And yeah, let me just click view screen. Uh, and by the way, the prompt will be available in the video description. So basically this is a flashcard about the types of muscle in the human body. I can open it, I can see uh, the meaning behind that, and I can use it as a way to practice my memory about any topic. So basically the way you use it is you have to navigate to perplexity.ai and then you can write the prompt. Again, the prompt is in the video description and also you have to enable the labs mode. So you have to enable this option, otherwise you cannot create a flashcard like that. And yeah, I guess that's basically all the things that you can do with perplexity if you are a student of course there are many other things that you can do but these are some things that i would do regularly if i were a student and i do have access to perplexity ai now uh, if you find this video useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day